Well, Aaron, the good news for those without powers, we are expecting it to come back on soon. Now, we did find a lot of people with those generators going. In fact, you can probably hear the one going on behind me. And they said, as long as this outage didn't last too long, they considered themselves in pretty good shape. This was the scene just after 7.30 in the morning on Shirley Hill Road in Goffstown. Police say a 17-year-old girl was heading towards Manchester when her tires hit a patch of ice and her car began to fishtail, eventually colliding with a utility pole. The officers first arrived, they assessed the scene and saw that the uh, power lines were still energized, still on her vehicle. The officers could ascertain that she wasn't injured and told her to wait for uh, emergency crews to show up. The accident, however, did more than just close down the road. PSNH estimates that about 200 customers lost power. This as the coldest air of the season was moving in. For those with generators, it wasn't a big deal. Dana Ashburner relies on a wood boiler to heat his home, but still electricity is essential. When we lose power, it's not circulating the, the water, so that's why you have to that's why I have to get the generator going to keep the keep the water flowing so it stays warm. And after a few tries, success. Just down the road at Oak Rise Farm, they were also without power. But fortunately, they have a propane heater to keep them warm. As for their animals, the owner says the cold really isn't a problem. As long as they can get shelter from the wind, they're actually made to live outside. They're used to it. But Sue Yanakopoulos says they need the electricity to keep the water tubs from freezing. So they too had their generator going. Her husband Bob needs the power to get his equipment going on these cold days. I plugged the tobacco in, got a, a heater on it, and it heat the tobacco up so I can start it. As for the driver of the car, once again, police say she was extremely lucky not to suffer any injuries. And while the accident does remain under investigation, police say it's unlikely that she'll face any charges. Reporting live in Goffstown, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.